We're on to step number three. And over here, we are on amazon.ca. Now, during this step, we're gonna analyze the efficiency of each pattern and find out which pattern matches our product's needs. So in our example, our website abandonment during checkout is a big problem. Therefore, our goal is to pick a pattern that will help us retain users and help them actually complete orders. So let's take a look at this. So we have amazon.ca and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select an item and I'm going to select buy now. And you can see it just kind of auto fills to my address if I want to sign in, but it also won't allow me to actually purchase the product without actually creating a Amazon account. So you'll need to enter your name, your email, your password and your password again. So this probably works for a company as big as Amazon because they have such a huge following. They have so many different products, but if our company or a product, if it doesn't have as many products or as big as a following, I'm not sure people would be that dedicated to actually do something similar. And that's probably why we have the drop off rate to begin with. So I'm not sure this is a type of pattern that we should be using at least at this moment. So let's move on to eBay. So here's eBay.ca. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select a product. Here we go. So what else do we have here? Okay, so let's pick a video game. So we have a video game over here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to click a buy it now. So interesting, they're popping up a quick modal that will actually allow you to purchase some sort of protection plan. Oh, here it is. So now I can see whether I want to sign in to check out or I can check out as a guest. Let's see what that looks like when we check out as a guest. So this is very interesting. We can select all our different options. We can actually put in our shipping address if we want to check out as guests, but we can also pay with PayPal. So that's very interesting as well. So it looks like our PayPal is an option and I'm not sure if this pattern is going to be good for us, but maybe if we look at like PayPal and allowing people to actually click PayPal and fill in their address, that could work. I mean, we could possibly create an account around that. Let's take a look at Etsy. So Etsy is this handcrafted kind of like commerce store. You'll get a lot of like handmade goods. Let's shop custom jewelry over here. Okay, I'm just gonna pick something random. Okay, so we have a chain necklace. Open up a new tab for us. And we're just going to select a style and add it to our basket. Okay, so it brought us right into our shopping cart, which is really nice. So if we want to proceed to checkout, we can already over here see like we can pay by PayPal, which is very convenient. You can do that really quickly. Let's see what checkout has. Okay, so we can continue as a guest or we can sign in to register or we can actually have a social login. So I kind of like this. I like how they've made this much more prominent than the actual sign in. So it's easier for users to actually do something like this rather than, you know, going through a whole sign in or uh, sign up. So what happens if you continue as a guest? So you have to enter your delivery address. And I guess this is where this gets a little bit harder for users and longer for users because you'll have to keep on doing this. So if we go back. So my guess is it's much more easier to actually do a social login over here. So very easy to kind of go through this flow. You have a multitude of options. And I think this is something that I want to further analyze as well. So. If we take a look at the patterns that we've just kind of reviewed very quickly, I mean, there are notable differences. So for example, Amazon had that sign in wall and I'm not sure, like we're already kind of doing that and I don't think that's going to be good for us. There was the PayPal like guest checkout, which is very interesting. There's different variations of that. So it's kind of like a lazy sign up as well as like a continue as a guest, which is very interesting. But the problem is not all users have a PayPal account and doing that kind of lazy sign up requires like them to go back and enter their shipping address over and over again. I feel like social login is incredibly fast and a convenient way to actually sign in. 
So most internet users have accounts on popular social media platforms like Google, you know, Facebook, and even people on Apple devices. This lets users fill in the absolute minimum of information and quickly proceed to checkout. So let's say we picked social login to simplify our checkout process and to retain users. So the final step for us would be to look at similar websites that kind of employ social login. So I'm gonna be taking a look at CB2 or Create and Barrel next because I believe they have a social login as well. So in the next section, we're gonna be dissecting the pattern.